day and welcome to Australia, the lucky country. Good day, welcome to Australia, the lucky country. Good day, welcome to Australia, the lucky country. Today, we're going to introduce you to some important aspects of Aussie culture. This educational video will teach you all you need to know about assimilating into life in the lucky country. Here, a man in a dress is either foreign or a pufta, but probably both. This is an Aussie bloke. Note the cork hat, wife beater, stubbies, thongs, and tinny. These are essential elements of our national costume. If you want to be Australian, you have to talk Australian. Start by losing the accent. If you have a long name, no one will talk to you. We suggest an anglicisation. This consists of shortening and an addition. Then it's a good idea to employ some Australian idioms. For a start, try saying, she'll be right, it's all good and no worries. Here's an example of how these terms are used in everyday conversations in the lucky country. <laughs> These phrases can be used in almost all situations. Why not try them out on your new neighbours? <laughs> Forget the so-called delicacies from your old country. In Australia, we have a wide range of six national dishes to choose from. Firstly, it's important to know that in Australia, if you can't fry it, we won't buy it. Barbecue is a traditional Australian oven, which comprises of a fire and a grill. You can cook prawns and anything from snags to chops. A great outdoor dining experience. Another Australian icon is the pavlova. This has been likened to a polystyrene cup filled with shaving cream. Delicious! Wow. Another colonial foodstuff is damper, a creative combination of flour and water. Bread on a stick, a true example of Australian ingenuity. In the lucky country, we're all happy little Vegemites. This condiment is made from yeast extract, great on toast or straight out of the jar. Delicious! Year old Victoria sponge? No problem! Why not try making another Aussie favourite, lamingtons. Stale cake, rolled in cocoa, water and dry coconut. The trademark treat of the Australian RSL. Last but definitely not least is beer. The official beverage of the lucky country. A meal in itself. <laughs> Despite claims that Australia is accepting of all faiths, this isn't strictly true. Australian rules football, or AFL, is the national religion, and people who do not follow the footy are ostracised or banished. <coughs> to be initiated into this faith, you must first select your team. You must then don the traditional costume of that team while singing incantations, prayers and pleas to your new gods. Because of your gender, ethnicity and accent, you will never be a politician. But not to worry, because the men in charge of the important matters in Australia are very smart. They all wear suits and work in a big building in a place called Canberra. They are always right and are more than accommodating of foreigners, gays and women. They are the founders of this great land, the visionaries that have led Australia through its proud history. 
Congratulations! You have now learned how to dress, cook, talk, worship and vote like an Australian. You will never be true blue, fair dinkum Australian, but here, in our egalitarian society, you have just as much chance of being accepted as all the other immigrants. None. This video was authorised by the Australian Liberal Party, Canberra.